Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Hero Bishop, and today I'm checking out that Diamond Select John Wick Deluxe action figure with accessories. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't pick up too many action figures anymore, unless they're for my kids, because, I don't know, man, I just like statues and dioramas better. But hey, man, John Wick, baby. You you can't hate on that. You can't hate on that. So let's get into this and check this out. My man Keanu. Stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies, so they wanna have my baby. Look, oh, look, oh. Hey. What's up, dog? I'm Neo. Oh, hey, what's up, man? John Wick. I'm in. The, I'm just trying to get me something to eat, bro. Nah, fool. You're in the Matrix. Nothing is what it seems. <gasps> Let's check out that package, man. We got that boy, John Wick. Little plastic strip that says John Wick. Not much there. On the side, we got John Wick. On the top, we got John Wick. On the back, we got, you guessed it, John Wick. Little plastic strap. Uh, this thing right here. Got the Velcro action, baby. Some more John Wick. Oh shit, hold up, hold up. We got some more little stickers on the side. Let me get these off. And we got that plastic action on the inside. There's a little bit of artwork behind there. It looks like John Wick's blown up house. Let me get this bad boy out and we'll see what's good. First, let's check out these accessories, man, cause NECA ain't playing with them. And by the way, they those John Wick movies are basically a good ass Punisher movie, if you if you ask me. My boy LaFin DeMond said they John Wick does a better Punisher movie than the uh Punisher does. Uh I myself, the only Punisher movie I mess with is Warzone with uh Ray Stevenson, who looks just like the comic. But you know, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, yeah, man. This box right here, we got the damn gun box, the gun case. It looks sweet. It has a little area in here for you to put the guns with. And trust me, they gave us a lot of guns. That really does look like some nice wood grain. I love the paint on that, the gold, the metal. I mean, that's about as good as a metal trunk or a wood trunk's going to get for action figure, man. You can't, you can't really deny that. And of course, the mini weapons fit in there. So you got that. So let's take a look at those. And I hold up before we look at those. I don't know if this goes in the trunk or not. Probably. Oh shit. We put the guns in the bottom and we got this shit in the top. But that looks hella wood grain. And as you can see, we got some ammo. Or maybe those are gold bars, I don't know. We got some grenades. Those look really good. I like the metal on the knife and the guns. Nice detail in there. We got this little grenade thing right here. It pops in there. They're really, they're really making this shit interactive. We got, man, I don't know what that is. I can't remember. Oh shit, that's a little stack of coins, I think. Yeah, that pops in there. Them damn gold coins that your boy John Wick was using in the movie. Then we got this little 9mm. It looks pretty good. Little gunmetal. Gunmetal gray action with some black. Uh, looks like a damn Taurus 9mm almost. Got me a Taurus. Back in the day. Little beginner knife. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. What is that? A box cutter or something? Anyway, as you'll see, came with a stand too, man. Uh, did I just call this shit NECA earlier? <laughs> Don Selects, 
stepping the game up. We got another little nine. I'm gonna choose to leave this on for now, but that comes off. You can take the gun out of his hand. Here's uh, the rest of the guns. What is that, an AR-15? That looks pretty good, nice and worn. Way better than them Hasbro uh, Marvel Legends looking guns and shit. We got a little, what is that? Some type of shotgun. I don't know, man. I've only ever owned a carbine, a nine, and a 357. So I currently, my, my current piece is a 357. Blow your head clean off. Here you can see uh, my kid drew on my damn review station with pencils, so that's cool. We got this bad boy right here. And, oh, no, that's a shotgun. But yeah, man, definitely the accessories, man, are on point. The guns look good. Put that in this box. The wood grain is realistic, but we ain't done yet. Say you want you you want to walk around town and act like your ass is John Wick. I don't know, maybe you do. You, whoop, you got one of these John Wick fake gold coins. What's up, baby? I got the gold. And we got that blood marker. That looks good, man. That looks good. Very realistic looking, even though it's made out of damn plastic. Still movie quality. Uh, I thought this thing open, but. I don't know, man. Mine's not opening, but pretty cool. Hey, if any of y'all got this, let me know if this thing opens, man. But let's get to your boy, John Wick. And like I said, it comes with a figure stand. That's pretty dope. We, we appreciate that. We appreciate that. We got a pretty good likeness to Keanu Reeves right there. Nice little hair. Nice cut up face because he's been through the shit. But yeah, man, that's pretty good likeness, especially for a figure this size. I like how we got that tie blowing in the wind. Suit looks decent. Nice sculpted detail on there. A little bit shiny, but it is an action figure. It's not a statue, so we can't complain. Nice sculpted wrinkles in the back. These legs look kind of weird, but whatever. I mean, they're pants. We got the little silver on the belt buckle that looks decent. Ties blowing in the wind, bro, because he's out in that hurricane of vengeance, boy. Shoes, man. Ugh. Shoes are kind of ugly, but not, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Overall, it's a decent uh, figure. If you if you uh, want to collect a John Wick figure, you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can get the damn, what is it, Mafex and all that other shit, but... It's going to be considerably higher price than this. And this comes with a lot of, a lot of accessories. That gun's kind of bent up because I got it in his hand. But still looks decent. As far as articulation, the hands move a little bit. I think they're supposed to move more than that. But maybe I need to heat this up with a hair dryer. They rotate. They're supposed to move up and down. But mine's a little stiff, I think. But whatever. We do have a kind of double jointed elbow. I don't know what's up with that. Rotates all around. Goes up about that far. Yeah, we got a lot of good rotation in there. The head, man, you can turn that boy all the way around if you want. You can look down about that much. Look up about that much. Same action with this arm over here. We got a little bit of ab crunch, but like barely any at all. You can turn from side to side. Uh-oh, I didn't notice that earlier. We got a little ammo, a little ammo belt action. Legs go out about that far. They go back about that far. We got that thigh rotation, but it's... Whew. You might want to heat that up before you rotate that. But yeah. We got some knee action. All right, all right, all right. And uh, the feet move, they pivot. Uh-oh, we got that ankle pivot going on. Goes up about that far. Down about that far. And yeah, man, pretty decent figure, man. If you're into collecting action figures, I don't know why you wouldn't get this bad boy. I'll put a link in the description below for Diamond Select if you want to pick one of these up. 
or support your local comic shops, man. Whichever one of them's stayed open during this damn pandemic. But that's a whole nother story. We ain't gonna get political today. But nah, man. Pretty good looking, pretty good looking. Real quick before we get out of here, if you want to win that Sandman Omnibus Volume 1, comment on this video or any other video where I mentioned the Sandman Omnibus giveaway in. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers, somebody's going to get that Sandman Omnibus. Check out one of these other videos below and hit that subscribe button on the side if you haven't. Much love and respect. Peace.